Cork City is the second largest city in the Republic of Ireland, with its history dating all the way back to the 6th century. Like all great cities, we've been growing. And when it comes to cities, size matters. In 1840, Cork City measured in at a rather small 11 square kilometres. By 1955, the city had grown to 14 square kilometres and flourished further to nearly 40 square kilometres by 1965. Through the 70s, 80s, 90s and early 2000s, Cork City continued to grow in size, resulting in an increase in housing and commercial construction on the outskirts of the city. Cork City had outgrown its boundary. By 2011, the Central Statistics Office, the CSO, was describing Cork City and suburbs as an area of 164.5 square kilometres, even though officially the city was still only a quarter of that. Clearly, our city boundary was completely out of date. Finally, in 2017, the McKinnon Report proposed that Cork City should be officially expanded to 296 square kilometres. You may ask, why so big? Well, it's simple really. This is the existing city boundary. The purple areas show land that is zoned by Cork County Council for development over the next five to 10 years. The yellow areas are land reserves for development over the next 10 to 30 years. And finally, the gray areas represent the size of urban Cork in 2050, when all of this planned development takes place. Pretty big, isn't it? Best practice internationally shows us that this size development should be overseen by one urban authority. Well, that's us. Cork City Council will focus on driving economic growth to create jobs, sustainable modern public transport systems, well-planned housing and on enriching community life so that our region will thrive. As you know, change isn't everybody's cup of tea. This unease can sometimes lead to false information and rumour spreading. So, let's take a quick look at the hardcore facts. Is it true that there was no public consultation? Not true. Notices were placed in local newspapers looking for submissions. Over 90 submissions were received, which all fed into the McKinnon report. Mary told me that rates will increase. Well, Mary is wrong. Rates will not increase because of the extension. In fact, our rates incentive scheme will extend to the expanded area. I heard that services will be reduced and charges increased. Fake news. All existing service budgets will be transferred to Cork City Council and Cork County Council will be compensated. Well, I heard the car and house insurance costs will be higher. You heard wrong. The city boundary has absolutely nothing to do with insurance costs. Some say that we'll lose our local offices. Nah, Cork City Council is committed to an area-based approach where the delivery of services will be through local offices. My neighbour said that paid parking will be introduced. Wrong. Cork City Council policy is that paid parking will only be introduced if businesses and residents of that locality specifically request it. Do you know what? Cork City is just going to be too big. No way. This isn't about Cork 2017 but about Cork 2050. It's about building a great future. If we want to attract more international investment, we need to become a European city of scale. By expanding our city boundary now, we are laying the foundation for a sustainable, modern and prosperous city for decades to come. Remember, size matters. Cork City has so much to offer as a global city. With ambition and clever urban planning, we can ensure that Cork City grows in a resilient and sustainable way, so that we remain a vibrant and globally competitive second city with a great quality of life. Join us on our path to future growth. A city rising is a beautiful thing. Brought to you by Cork City Council. Corla Corrach Corky.